Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Grow Looks Skull Crusher, and what I'm going to do is show you a what is called a public dungeon in the Elder Scrolls Online. Now, this is uh, in Daggerfall, right outside Daggerfall, in fact, to the west, right here. Like, if you go to this fort, the two ships in the west, it's right there. I'll show you the easiest way to get there. Just run down right along the beach, right next to the docks. Now I'm probably too high of a level to make this challenging, because I totally forgot about it. But, the public dungeons, uh, from what I read, get harder depending on how many people are in them. Now I read this in the beta, so I'm assuming it's the same, but no, here we go. Yeah, there you go. Right there in the bottom right tells you. Same thing I just said. Number of players increases the difficulty. Alright, so let's see. I don't think I've actually completed it. When I tried to do it before in the beta, I got bugged and couldn't complete it. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. What a beautiful day! Welcome to the Harvest Festival. The bad man is first. We got may our humble off, like I said before. We're a friendly folk here in the hollows. We share our traditions. And so essentially, these people make an offerings of burning food so that something bad won't happen. You know, they'll have good crops and whatnot. Simple offering to the gods, I guess. Not sure if he's a god, though. Brothers and sisters, the newcomer has made an offering to the bad man. Join with me in celebration. By the way, this is in fact my Grolog Skull Crusher character. Bad man, stern hand of the harvest, master of blight and plenty. Accept this gift. Feed and grow stronger. May his hunger never be saved. May his roots grow ever deeper. Grow ever deeper. Should activate this is my main quest here. Well, Very easy to do. You can just click on a quest step, marker on the, the map and it'll just activate it as your main. So will the bad man feed. Also, it's a tradition. Humorous. Oh god. <laughs> and there it is. Apparently they light me on fire. And drop me into a hole or something? That's mean. What, like, they thought I died, so they just threw me into a hole somewhere underneath a tree? Oh, that is not. Oh, that's level 5. Yeah, I'm a much higher level. Oh, well. At least I'll be able to help the people in here out a bit. It's like the way out, maybe? Yeah, that's the way out. You dare to oppose me? This character is a Templar, which I actually never played before in the beta, but it is, in my opinion, very powerful. At least the uh, Adric Spear portion of it. You're not one of them. Please, uh, help me get free of these roots. Then I'll explain everything. Whoa, she lit on fire. What the hell? Oh, that guy's probably... Is that what, this, uh, what I'm about to do? That is what I'm about to do. Alright, alright. That makes a little more sense. Lucky you came along when you did. 
We've got a lot of work to do. That was no harvest festival. Those people are Daedra worshippers. I and we're in see. So danger. it's Daedra is coast. not a god. We're My Daedra mistake. Tree. Except it's not a tree. It's a minor Daedric lord. The tree's a tree is a Daedric lord. Dark energy through them to keep this pocket of oblivion from collapsing upon itself. Destroying the roots will hurt him. The same way you freed me. Use shocklands to burn the roots in these caverns. Yes. I'm I don't sure have any do. questions for you. It's very simple. Burn the roots. Gotcha. Probably gotta kill those things to get the uh, glands. Maybe I shouldn't be running. I need my stamina for combat. Huh. Alright, well. Happen to be an enchanter. So I need those runes, as many as I can find. Another quest down here. Is that a maple right next to me? I can it is. No, because we have a shared bank is the only reason I get those things. Uh, I can just put it in the bank and my uh, other characters can use it. Oh, that thing is actually strong. Maybe I should have paid attention a little bit. You can tell because of the uh, right next to the left and right of his health bar. It is only level 5, however, and I am certainly much higher than that, so this is not going to be a problem. Certainly should have uh, paid attention a little yeah. bit. You don't look like an abomination against the divines. Fascinating. The roots do not consume you. Well, that <laughs> may prove useful. The name is Fib. The roots consume people. As part of the circle of mages that summon the Dramora Lord now posing as the bad man. I can help keep his power in check, but I'll need your help. The right. Dramora killed many of my circle. Their undead bones wander these tunnels, clutching the gems we used in the ceremony. Bring me some of them. If the Dramora is banished, I can use them. Alright, cool, cool. Ah, oh, he killed it. I was gonna try and get in on that. All you gotta do is hit something once and you can loot it. That's pretty good too. All right, I gotta burn these roots. They're all around me. Well, you know what? I think the last time I did this, I actually found like a secret boss you can fight. That uh, I'll, sh I'll see if I can find it before I move on for sure. It's an achievement, I believe. Go this way. Alright, I did die. What? Ah, oh, he clicked on it so I can't get it. I was letting him handle that while I uh, go ahead and click on this and then throw a spear at this guy, hopefully. Let's see. Oh, hey. There's a sky shard down here. Alright, well, I'll show you on the map. It's right here. This is Bad Man's Hallows. Oh, I guess I don't need to kill any more of them. Uh. Shows it being up. There's a path over here. Oh, that's that must be the way out. Okay, okay. Uh, 
Um, so how do I, how do I get in there then? This is the, this is the path out, so it's down in here, underneath me as you can see. That's, I believe that's where the, oh here it is, you can just drop down right here, I'm, I'm at it, right here. Right here on the map, people. You drop down here. Me and a buddy of mine found this when we were doing this randomly. We actually fell down here by accident. And uh, these giant snakes are uh, obviously not the... Uh, but part of it. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, that heals them. Oh, I gotta pay attention to that. Sure, the boss will do that too. Which the boss should be right up over here. Like he's not dead. It looks like he's dead. Now yeah, it looks like someone killed him recently. Did I go the wrong way? I might have gone the wrong way. Let me turn around and go this way. That might be the way out, actually. I guess it wasn't the wrong way. What is up here then? Is another way out perhaps? Or was it? No, that's some iron. It's actually something I need. Another way in maybe. Or just where I came in? Oh, I'm getting all turned around. That's where the boss should spawn back over here. Probably won't be able to kill him by myself, even though I am above the uh, required level here. Oh, hey, hey. We got a couple players, though. I'll get in on that. What is this way? Is he's definitely supposed to spawn in here? I'm assuming anyway. I mean, has all these skulls and everything around. Yeah, this is definitely the way out. This isn't where I want to go. I just gotta wait for him to respawn. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Same idea, kill every little snake you see. Now my sword is actually enchanted with, I believe it's unblockable or, or something like that, damage. Let's find out actually. Unresistible. That's a little weird. Oh. This guy's a level 10 himself. I'm level 11, I believe. Yep. Let's really check the charge on my sword. I got plenty of charges left.
Oh, and there he is. I will charge in first. Let's go, guys. Nice, he's got in Storm Atronach. That will make it easy. Here, I'll help kill you with it, guys. AOE attack, here we go. You know, I got plenty of stamina, let's kick his ass with that. Bit. There it is. And that right there gained one skill point. This is why I wanted to show you it. There are multiple things you can do in this game, such as that, to gain a free skill point. And. I mean, obviously, you gain a skill point every time you level up, or you collect enough uh, sky shards, so skill points are very valuable, very important if you can collect them. And that is why I wanted to, it was so important for me to show you, because it will give you a skill point. Uh, actually, if I remember correctly, every dungeon, in fact, gives you a free skill point. I'm not sure about public dungeons, but... I mean, I already got one from this public dungeon, but for completing the normal dungeons, you get a free skill point. Which is great, so you should really do them, even if you're only just getting PvP. You should really consider doing them. Because, as I said, free skill point is just gonna make you that much stronger. Even if you don't put it in combat, if you just want to put it in something for crafting, who cares? It's still gonna help you out. It's actually what I ended up doing, um... With a lot of my... Skill points I got from PvP during the beta was I put it into my crafting. Because... I... My skills weren't going up fast enough, I couldn't morph my enough abilities quick enough. So I ended up having these points that I couldn't put in anything. Save this guy right here. No dying on my watch. You level four? Oh man, you're gonna get your ass kicked. Well, is it done? Well done. Once banished, this bubble casts an otherworldly light upon its there. owner. Farewell, oh, I was gonna say I better not have leveled up. Like what the hell? Well, that does exactly. Let's see. That all right. Apparently, that's what it does. All right. Seems to last uh, only a few seconds, and I have no idea why would you want it. Hit him, buddy! Shoot him! I was trying to give that in that guy level 4. Trying to let him get some XP for that kill. Well, you've got his attention. I can feel his energy shifting. You've He's definitely angry. got his attention. Now we need to take the fight to him. Here are the shock lands I collected. We need to find a way to feed them to the Dromora Dr Nicholas Liz. Who? Batman's Glen. We were wrong! <laughs> it's all right. This is where uh, it bugged he in the beta. Angry. He just wasn't here, I guess. But uh, oh, are they starting him? Soon after I'll skip through this because I think they're fighting him. They are getting on this. And that's why I said I could easily help these people out. And again, this guy's level twelve even. I guess I'm not the only person who forgot. Ooh. I cannot see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna throw a spear at him. Alright, well, the last boss was easier than the snake. So, keep that in mind, I guess. I felt it. A shift in the plane. We should leave this place. But the Daedra banished, the Glen will collapse in upon itself. <laughs> collapse in upon Thank itself. All, all you've right. Done. Um, I hope you'll have the good taste to not mention that I was. 
And you can see, very sure, much shorter than a normal dungeon, but three skill point. Nothing wrong with a free skill point for killing a giant snake. Something you will most likely not be able to do alone, especially if you come in here at the appropriate level, which seems to be around six or seven. But... Okay, I got three skill points. One from the Sky Shard, one from killing the snake, and I'm guessing the other one must be because I completed the dungeon then. So I'd say that you get a skill point for completing every dungeon and public dungeon then. Public dungeons are easy though, you don't need to worry about finding a group, you know, like, you just go in there, I'm sure there's gonna be people in there pretty much all the time. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to let people know that it's a uh, low-level dungeon. You could do this probably around level 7 easily. And, well, you might as well get a couple free skill points out of it.